Okay, so next we're going to look at some exam style questions um, for arithmetic uh, sequence and series for high level students. And just before we do that, let's just have a really quick recap um, about what it is exactly arithmetic sequences are. Arithmetic sequences are where we add a constant term each time. So in this case, we're adding two each time. And we have a a general nth term u1 plus n minus 1 times d that gives us the nth term formula and we also have a formula or two formulas which allow us to add um, an arithmetic sequence and that is called a series and we, we add terms together and we've got this form here this top form here and we've got this form underneath when we know the first term and the last term as well. Okay, so let's look at some questions. Uh, one second. Okay, here we go. So, first question, so if you want to just read that quickly. Okay, so you can see that the, the very first thing to do is to write down the SN formula. So that SN equals N over 2, 2U1 plus N minus 1D. Okay, and then I say, well, I'm looking at some of the first six terms. So that's going to be S of 6 is equal to 81. And, uh, well, that is equal to 6 because there's six terms. So 6 over 2 brackets 2U1 plus 5 times D, 5 times the common difference. And then it's just a simple uh, case of uh, simplifying. So there we go, 81 equals 3 bracket u2 u1 plus 5d, which then gives me an equation 27 equal to 2u1 plus 5d. So that is the first equation that I've got. Um, I then do exactly the same thing for the second part. And there we go. I can find uh, s of 11, which is 231. And that's the 11th term, so 11 over 2. 2u1 plus 10d and again if I simplify that that gives me 21 is equal to u1 plus 5d and therefore u1 is 6 and d is 3 and all, all I've done for that last stage is uh, I've got simultaneous equations so if I do this top equation here take away this bottom equation here well I can then find out uh, u1 and then I can find out what d is equal to Okay, second question. Again, just uh, quickly read through it. Okay, so this time um, now, this I, I've got to decide which of the uh, sum formulas um, that I'm going to use. I've got this first formula here. Well, this formula here in this particular case isn't much use because uh, I don't know what n is. And I don't know what d is, so I'm going to have two different unknowns, and I've only got one equation. However, this second version here is going to be useful because I've got the first term, and I've also got the last term. Therefore, I can then find out the missing the missing value of n. So in this case here, 81 is the sum. If you think if I add all those bits of ropes together, it's going to have to equal the 81 meters it started out with, um, and that's equal to n over 2. First term, the first bit was 1.5, that was the shortest bit. The longest bit was 7.5. Um, and then just using that, I can therefore find out what n is equal to. So n is equal to uh, 18. Um, if, if now I actually want to find out what uh, d is, well, I can kind of use this formula because I can say, well, the, the nth term is equal to the first term plus n minus 1 times by d. Well, in this case, um, the nth term that I'm looking at, the, the biggest term was 7.5 meters. And I arrived at that by doing the first term plus, well, there was 18 bits in total. So 18 take away 1 times by D. And then just filling in the blanks. Well, I also know that the first term was 1.5. 
Therefore, I got 7.5 equals 1.5 plus 17 times something, the common difference. Therefore, the common difference is 6 over 17. OK, and then this is uh, the last question to look at. There we go. Um, slightly more difficult. We've got a circular disk this time. Um, the angle of the largest is twice the angle of the smallest. There are a few different ways to calculate this, but I think this method below is probably the most, uh, most uh, the simplest. Um, we can say that u1, the first term, is, is theta and u12, the 12th term, is 2 theta because it's, it's twice as big. I can then recognize that I can use the SN formula, so the sum formula is n over 2 uh, brackets u1 plus un. Now here we go, I know that the angles all together must add up to 360 because it's 360 degrees um, in a circle, and there's 12 of them, so 12 over 2, and then u1 is theta, and un is 2 theta, and once I've worked out all of that, uh, therefore I can simplify that so theta must be equal to 20 degrees.